Today we're going to replace the EGR valve on this Honda Accord with a 3.5 liter engine. Now EGR systems on these vehicles are prone to many failures uh, throughout the years such as carbon buildup inside one of the passages whether it be in the intake or in the exhaust tube here. So first thing you need to do as a technician when diagnosing these is ensure that we've got proper flow. But when you do come down to the conclusion that we've got a faulty EGR valve, it's stuck open, stuck shut, uh, faulty sensor, whatever, it's time to replace it. And so we're looking at the engine compartment here. And so our EGR valve, I'll try and zoom in on it a little bit here, is located on the driver's side front here. Now I've already gone ahead and removed the beauty cover, uh, two simple plastic screws there. But now the valve is located below this wiring harness here. So I'm going to take a 14 or excuse me a 12 millimeter socket with an extension and a ratchet and there's simply two nuts holding this into place. So I will sneak in there and get these nuts loose, remove them. And there's the electrical connector here, which we're going to just pinch the lock and release it. So we get that up out of the way. And then remove both of the nuts that's holding the valve into place. And just like that, I remove the valve. Now, the new one comes equipped with a new gasket. So we're going to replace the gasket, but first thing I need to do is remove the original gasket as well as ensure that the passages are clean here. Now if there's any sort of debris, we might pick it apart and uh, you know try and clean it out, prevent further damage to our new valve. All right, we've got everything cleaned up here. I'm gonna simply take my new gasket, slide that down on there, I will slide my new valve into place and then I need to just take the two nuts, start them on the studs by hand. Then I'm going to come back and tighten them down to the ratchet. Make my electrical connection. Now, once I've got everything tightened down, I'll put the beauty cover back on, and then I need to clear the codes and take the vehicle for a test drive and ensure the EGR system is functioning properly. In some cases, I might have to relearn the zero position of the valve, and obviously we want to make sure that it's flowing properly, and then we've actually cured the condition we we're going in to diagnose and repair. Hopefully now you understand what it takes to replace the EGR valve on a Honda Accord with a 3.5 liter engine.